Let's have a look at exporting from Figma. So when you want to export assets from your project, for example, for the purpose of handing it over to developers or sharing with others, here are the options that you have. You can export the whole canvas, meaning everything that's in the, on the page. You can export individual objects and frames, and you can export also frames to PDF and also a local copy of the actual project file, of Figma project file. That's the extension that fig people will then be able to take this dot fig file and create a sort of new file on their account from this local copy because usually the project files are stored on figma's servers so here are the formats you can export to you can export to png jpeg svg and pdf let's actually have a look at how to do that so if we go now to file export um it says no selected layers have export settings. Click plus in the export section of the properties panel to add one. So basically Figma is saying that there is nothing to export right now. You might be a bit confused about that because you're like, well, obviously there are like many layers on this canvas. I, I don't know why I shouldn't be able to export this. But the reason is you first have to enable exporting for a given object or even a canvas, right? So um, let's see what this means. If we select this blue ellipse, we have to go to here and click plus next to export. So right now, if we go to file export, Figma knows that this blue ellipse is gonna be exported. And also if we go back, you can see that here's the preview. Basically here's what you get. Here's the final image result of this export. And if we export this, here's the result. We have an image called blue ellipse.png and the dimensions are exactly the same as in Figma. So that's 231 pixels. And also the name of the file corresponds to the name of the layer. It also says here that you can export the whole canvas. To do that, make sure that there is nothing you're currently, that's currently in your selection, meaning you have no blue boxes around any object. And then click export right here. This enables exporting for the whole canvas. So you can see that it now says export Mavi design, which means that it is going to export the whole canvas, the whole file, according to the name of the file right here. And here's the preview. Let's disable that for now. And um, that's how you export the whole canvas. We went over exporting individual objects, so I can enable exporting for this frame, then this is the final result. This is the preview of the final result. And also frames to PDF. So if I go to file, export frames to PDF, it exports a PDF with the name of the file, of the Figma file. And the final result is gonna be, not surprisingly, a PDF with one page for each frame. So if you decide to export frames to PDF, don't forget that Figma will actually ignore anything it's outside a frame. Right now, these are just the frames that we have right here. And then of course, also we can export a local copy of the file. So it, that's right here, save local copy, which opens a window that enables you to save a .fig file. Another thing that's important to note is that this can be a little confusing at first. When you actually want to, let's say, export these two objects together, you'd maybe your first instinct would be to select both of these and then click export. But what happens is that you cur you selected two separate objects. You enabled export settings for two separate objects at once. So when you export, click export right now, you know it even says export two layers. This will export two separate files, but you don't want to do that. You want to export this whole object. So to export all of these together in a single image, you first have to group these layers into one group. Let's, let's name this layer um, rectangle and ellipse. And now when you enable export for this layer, this is what you get. And that's probably what you were looking for, right? So if you want to export multiple objects into a single image, make sure to group them first or put them inside a frame and then export the frame. So again, if I selected all of this and you wanted to export this area as a single image. Again, because I selected two frames, Figma is gonna think that I want to export these two layers separately as individual images, which is something that we don't want. So again, we would have to group that and then it would be as intended. Also, when exporting frames, for example, you get the option to disable fills. Let's say I want to export this frame, but without the white background. 
I can do that. I have to first make sure that the export settings for this is actually enabled and then go here to fill and uncheck show in exports which is going to update this and basically the final result is going to be a transparent image with dimensions of the frame which is 400 by 400 and the transparent background with these two objects. You can also do the same for the whole canvas. So if we again wanted to export the whole canvas with nothing selected we clicked export. You see that I already unchecked this field so we could make sure to show the background color in exports and you can see that it changed. If we change the background to this red, it changes again. So that's also important to note you can you can disable background colors in your exports. And there's also a very handy feature that says ignore overlapping layers. So when you're exporting this, let's say this gray rectangle, um, I already enabled the export settings for this one, but let's say that I would want to export this whole area, including this blue ellipse. I can do that. I can go here to export settings and then uncheck ignore overlapping layers. This is what happens. So Figma takes anything that's anything you can see within the borders of this object and then just puts all of that into a into an image. Usually you don't want to do that, but when you do this is the way to do it. It kind of samples all the layers that you can see. You can also add a suffix to the image name when exported. So if I, let's say, if I wanted this file to be called blue ellipse underscore something, I'll specify that right here. So now if I export, it's gonna export a blue ellipse underscore something that PNG. And then finally, there are export sizes. So if I want to export this group, currently it's 337 pixels wide, and I want this to be really high resolution. I do have the options to, well, export at the current size, 1x or 1.5x, and then two times bigger, four times bigger. Of course, you can specify any number you'd like. So let's say 10 times as big. So that would mean that the final image would be almost three and a half thousand pixels wide. So that's multipliers when exporting in different sizes. You also get to specify the height. So let's say that you'd want this group to be exported with a fixed height. So let's say I want this to be 1000 pixels high. I'm gonna go here or just type in 1000 H. Uh, this means basically 1000 height. And if I export this now, Figma is gonna export this at 1000 pixels tall by whatever width is required to maintain the aspect ratio. And I can do the same for width. So let's say I want to export this at 1000 pixels wide. I can again specify 1000 W for width and then Figma is going to do the same. So it's going to export an image that's 1000 pixels wide by whatever height is required again to maintain this aspect ratio. What is also extremely useful is that you can specify multiple export settings for a given object. So let's say that I would want to export this at 1000 pixels wide and then maybe at the actual size, you know? So I would have like, I would have two images now. And then let's say I want to export like in SVG and then I want to export in PDF. Uh, so that's possible. It doesn't let us specify the size for PDF and SVG because that doesn't really make sense. If you have vector files, the pixel dimensions do not matter because you can always rescale without losing any quality. And if I want to, you know, if I decide that I actually don't want to export in the SVG, I can just click this option and then hit backspace to delete that. Or I can just click the minus icon, which will remove the, apparently the, the uppermost export settings. So now let's say you examined the whole project, you decided what needs to be exported, you enabled export settings for some frames, some objects, you specified the format and the dimensions. You know, have two options. You can go to each one and then click export button right here, or you can just go to file, export, basically export everything at once. So here is a list of all the objects we enabled the export settings for. And if we had, if we have multiple export settings for, for one object, I think, I believe it's gonna show that as two separate items in the list. So we have the group rectangle and ellipse with two options. And then you can just click export. It will batch export all of those. And that's how you export from Figma. If you have any questions or if there's anything unclear, let me know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, I would appreciate you leaving a like. And if you're interested in Figma, in learning uh, Figma, definitely go check out my channel where I do plenty of tutorials on Figma.
Thanks for joining me today and I will see you in the next one.